Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are here in Mahogany Town. We are about to have a spicy episode. I'm actually excited for this one. Uh, we got a pretty decent team right now. Uh, nice and well-rounded. Uh, and we are about to go get our encounter at this route, go route it is. And then we're going to get the shiny, which I would like to see a guesses in the previous episode. If you guys haven't done them already, go back, leave a comment what you think it's going to be. Or leave it on this before the uh, before I get to it. But uh, I'm excited for it. My guess is going to be a ball toy. I don't know why. Random Pokemon. I think it's going to be a ball toy. Um, if you are watching this on... Ooh, how do I want to go about this? Let's go to Shy. If you are watching this on Facebook, um, you might see a notification thing saying, if you want to support Breezy, uh, you can become a supporter. It's five bucks a month. Uh, one of the main benefits of that that I've been working on with Dylan, the guy who creates a lot of the ROMs for me, is we are making these ROMs and randomizers that I do, we're making them available for you guys that are supporters of the stream. Um, they will be in the Discord, so you gotta join the Discord. Um, let us know that you're a supporter and we'll get you all set up and get you hooked up with the link to all of those. They're all just randomized versions. Um, they're able, you can get them all on your own, it's just the exact ones that I play if you're interested in playing those specific ones. Uh, we have those in the Discord. Uh, we, the only reason we don't do it just openly available is because we're manually setting up the links and adding people to the email. So if we do it to every single person, it'd be kind of impossible to manage with everyone that asks, all the random people that ask. So we're just trying to keep it limited to that extent. But if you are ever interested in playing these ones that we do when, when I'm doing the Pokemon White Purgatory, the Pokemon Platinum one I did previously, and any ones I do in the future. So it's just a little perk we got added in the Discord if anyone is interested. Um, but yeah. I'm excited for it. A lot of people have been enjoying it. A lot of people have been trying to randomize Nuzlocke that haven't tried them before. So, and it also helps for people who only have access to it via mobile, because um, I it's, you can't really get the randomizer. I don't think mobile. Um, but if you can get access to files and download them to your phone via Google Drive or whatever, uh, you can play them on mobile. So, yeah, the same. It's a pretty cool perk. Uh, actually, it's, it was Dylan's idea. Shout out to him. To actually start doing that how much do they charge you who's thousand dollars that's annoying that's annoying all right route 43 let's grab the encounter let's grab the encounter the only things i want to replace possibly is porcelain oil mill tank Ooh, do i want a pooch Oh, this is a tough one. Hmm. This is a tough one. Dark types are really good. It's great to have a psychic immunity because there's a lot of psychic type Pokemon when you do randomizers, but they only learn psychic type moves. And right now, I don't really have a good answer for psychic types. I think I'm going to try to catch it. That's Thunder Wave. I think I'm gonna try to catch it. I think I'm gonna replace it. Ugh, Miltank is really good though. I mean, Miltank's good for fire and ice type coverage because it has uh, thick fat. And it is a Miltank. I know you guys all love Miltank. But, I mean, I can deal. Typhlosion deals with fire and ice types. Magnezone deals with ice types. Corso deals with fire types. You know, I don't really have an issue with those typings. Um, and this would also help me with ghost types as well. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. Everyone, if you guys are, you know, in the stream, you guys are in the Discord, you guys already know what the name of this is going to be. Let's get it. Hmm. Oh, this is great. I'm sorry, Max, but you've been replaced. Bam. Oh, oh my God. I just, I didn't really think about this. I'm definitely adding it to the team. This is going to be the first evolution. As long as this arrives. But I'm going to name it Mighty Emma. Shout out to Emma. Her and Dylan are the two mods that I have. And Donovan as well. Uh, the mods that I have in the stream and in the Discord. So Dylan's the one who helps me with the ROMs. Emma is just sort of more of the community management. Making sure people don't get a little too out of line. Because <laughs> you guys do have a tendency of getting a little too, little too crazy sometimes. But... So once in a while, having someone around who can kind of manage it for me if I'm busy on stream or if I'm in a battle, I'm not really paying attention or things happen in Discord when I'm not around. So. Appreciate you guys as mods. 
want you guys to know that. All right, Pooch. You're on the team. And I don't even think I ever sent this out. Take the experience share from Miltank. And I'm going to put it on Mightyena. Poochyena, sorry. It's not evolved yet. And we'll find out if there's a randomized evolution. Because I think it evolves like level 18 or 20. It evolves at a pretty low level. So, we will see. Pokemon. Mightyena. Experience share. All right, and we also gonna go get the shiny as well, uh, and the Lake of Rage encounter. I think I might just make sure I battle all the trainers along the way, and that way I can hopefully get the evolution off on the Poochiana before I make any decisions as far as uh, any of the changes I might make to the team after this. Oh, this grass, this grass loves me, my boy Sandro. I love Sandry so much. If anyone doesn't know, it's my favorite Pokemon. I got my first edition Sandry card right here. It's the only first edition card that I have. Only, like, nice card I have of any sort. Gorbis. I actually, I don't mind Gorbis. Gorbis is one of those Pokemon that, like, it looks really, like, stupid. And it doesn't feel like it would be useful to a team. But it's actually not that bad. It learns, like, really good coverage moves. Like, confusion and just, like, you know, just, like, decent moves. It's actually pretty good to get in a randomized Nuzlocke. I started posting uh, random randomized Nuzlocke tips. Posted like two so far by the time this episode comes out. Maybe a third. Oof. Luxury. But yeah, I hope you guys... Now that you guys are trying more of the randomized Nuzlocke, hopefully you guys can implement some of those tips to your playthroughs. Oh, my cat ZZ is meowing right now. Might have to bring him in here for a second. He sounds too cute. Let me go get him. Hi! What's up, buddy? What's up? Alright, you wanna hang out? Whoa, 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 what happened? Look how cute he is. Roared me out. What a rude guy. What a rude guy, huh? What a rude guy. What's up, bud? Magnitude 7. Let's go. Look how big he is. I had him. I showed him in the first episode, even. Look how big he's getting. He's not such a little kitten anymore. He's still adorable and cuddly and everything, but he's just not as tiny anymore. Hey. Buddy, you can't hang in here for too long. It's impossible for me to work while you're in here, but I like you. Let's talk about Clefairy? No. Alright. Alright, I can't leave him in here. I've tried a million times. He just gets too riled up and starts messing with everything in the room, so... It's impossible. <laughs> Alright. Mm -mm. Strong man Aiden with a ninja mask. Easy clap. Easy clap. Ninja mask is a fun Pokemon to use in Nuzlocke's. If you can get if you can get it in on like a fighting type that doesn't have any like coverage moves like my champ things like that uh, primate sometimes they only have fighting type moves at certain levels you can get in there with that sword stance speed boost you do some damage polyrath level 28 this is i shouldn't be staying in on this oh thank jesus i freaking missed i need to shut the all right hold on a second guys i always think about this at the wrong times Properties, configure video, auto, camera control, shut off auto focus. Okay. I've been meaning to do that for so long and I keep forgetting. He missed two. Let's go. Hypnosis is so annoying. All right. The auto focus, it's been doing it a lot more lately for some reason. Maybe I've just been noticing it more, but it's been driving me crazy and I keep forgetting to change it. Mm -mm. I also need a haircut. See my beard? See how crazy and grizzly my beard looks right now? It's crazy. Let's see if it's randomized. Oh, 
Oh, it is. Oh, it is. I love this Raichu card art for just a little FYI. But I love Raichu so much. It's really not great because of the team build that I got currently. Oh my god. I love Raichu though. It's so dope. Let me see. It's uh. So it's going to have a weird move set then. It's going to have Bite, Odor Sleuth, has Static, which is good. Hey, I'm going to level it up. I'm going to level it up. I'm going to keep it in the back for now. I'm going to keep it in the back for now. Uh, Depending what the next encounter is, if it's a Steel type, if it's like a Skarmory or something like that, Steel Flying, I might just keep Raichu and replace Magnezone. Who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm actually going to... Potion up real quick. I'm gonna potion up my guy before I do anything. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was worried about clicking roar or something like that. I think this gets roar as well. Hmm. That's fine. One magnitude should be good. One magnitude should be good. Ooh, actually thinking of Raichu, probably not worth replacing Magnezone over Raichu, pretty much no matter what I get. Strictly because of level up moveset. One of the things I tell people all the time, if you're doing randomized Nuzlocke's, learning Pokemon's level up movesets is a big, big deal. I'm pretty sure Raichu doesn't learn anything. Just like Abra. I think Abra does learn confusion at some point. I could be wrong. Gen 5. Yep, doesn't learn anything. So, I do have like Zap Cannon as a TM, but nothing that's really going to benefit. So, I think I'm probably just going to replace Raichu. Um, almost immediately. So, first we have this is the Lake of Rage encounter. So this is the encounter for Lake of Rage. This is not the static encounter. Static encounter we always count separately. A whooper. Ooh. All right. Do you think a level six whooper has? I'm gonna check. If this has 20 HP, I'm catching it. I'm replacing Corsola. This is infinitely better than Corsola. Infinitely better. Oh my Lanta. Okay. Uh Pokeball. Let's throw a Great Ball. Let's go for it. Um I'm going to leave it in the box for now to make the decision until I get this other one. Um, but I do believe I'm gonna replace Corsola with that Wooper. Quagsire, just only being weak to grass is really good. Uh I granted you're four times weak to grass, but Corsola's already four times weak to grass as well. This has a electric immunity. Depending its ability, um, it could be even even better. Um, what do we name a Quagsire? I'm gonna name him Boop, like Cryon Boop. He just seems like a little dunce, so I think that'll be a good name. The only reason I'm saying I might hesitate to replace it because depending what this might be. Let's see what the shiny is. Moment of truth. Oh, level 36. Oh, boy. Um. Oh, my Lanta. Why is this such a high level? I mean, I guess the static encounters also get the boost with the levels. So, I mean, that makes sense. Usually level 30. What is your moveset right now? Earthquake. Rock Blast. Rollout. Self-Destruct. You're gonna click Earthquake. There's no chance you click Self-Destruct here. There's no chance you click Self-Destruct. I have to switch. But oh, I can't really take a hit with this. Oh boy, Golem. I'm trying to take lives once again. Clicks or Earthquake. Okay. 
Um, do I? Th Ooh. <sighs> man, this is a tough, tough decision, man. I think I'm gonna throw a great ball because I think I'm not gonna be able to run from it. I might be able to. Full, it's really slow. Might be able to run from it, but if I can't run from it, oh. Roll out. Crits me turn one. I have to try running. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can't risk it. All right. Red scale. We got it. That's fine. That's fine. We don't really need Golem. I would rather have Donphan than Golem, honestly. Uh, I'll help you investigate. Yes, sir. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to add Wooper to the team over Corsola, though, for sure. 100%. All right, let's work our way back downtown. Um, I'm probably in between episodes. I'll do some off stream grinding. Oh, God damn it. I'll do some off stream grinding and I'll go up to the top and get all the items, battle those trainers and things like that. Um, but I'm going to for now, because this, this underground level, they're not really too high leveled. Battles aren't that difficult. So I'll just get started on that uh, right now. Um. <clears throat> Is there any encounters I can get right now? Because I do want to put Wooper on the team over replacing that mill tank was a mistake. 100% was a mistake. Because now I have Raichu here who I, I just don't need. I don't need Raichu anymore. It's just not going to be good. Um, but I'm going to keep Wooper on the team over Corsola. Okay, Cooper, I am. I don't know if there's any instance in which I would prefer to have Raichu in over Magnazone, especially with no moves that are relevant. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll maybe we'll find something. Maybe against a fighting type that I want to just sack it against and hopefully get the static. Who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna put the experience on Wooper though right away. Quagsire will be really helpful to the team. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Item take item give experiencer. I could get that second experiencer as well by replacing that red scale. Um, but I'm not really in a rush to do that just yet. I mean, I also could. Hmm. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna speed up. I'm gonna go over before I do this whole underground area. I'm gonna go. Surf. No, I have to go through the whole Olivine Tower to do that. Let's just do this. Never mind. I was going to stop and I was going to go do the Olivine Tower thing first. But the levels on this are so low that I'm just going to go through this really quick. Do this whole scenario. Um, I'll count one of the Voltorbs as an encounter. Uh, it's a static encounter. I'll just Whatever the first one is. I don't know if they're all going to be the same. Um, there might be three different Pokemon. But whatever the first one is, I'll count as an encounter. Mm, 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 mm. These battles are all the same. You battle two trainers, they have the same Pokemon every time. So, hopefully, they're not too hard. A Beautifly. Okay, so that's easy enough. Only level 20. See what I mean? Levels aren't too high on this, so it's not really worth um, saving this till after Olivine City. Olivine City Gym is actually pretty tough. Her Steelix is like level 36 or something like that. So with the increase, it's going to be like in the 40s probably. So I'd rather do this and get this grinding in first. Flagsire. Hey, what are the odds? Um, I don't have a grass type, so I can't really deal with this. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, Ice Punch and Sludge. Huh. Man. I'm going to go Dr. Wifey. This is not great. This is not great. I should get Dr. Wife leveled up. I barely ever use this Weezer. I think I've only used it. It was level 24 when I caught it, I think. Like, I never use this. Uh, Ice Punch. Best thing I can go for. Oof. Maybe get a Poison with Sludge. Nice. 
speed this up a tiny bit. Speed this up a tiny bit. Uh, maybe I do want to try replacing Raichu first. I was going to say, because I can get a couple encounters on the way to uh, from Olivine City to... Uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can never remember what the island is. I don't know why. I can't remember what the island is. But I do get a couple encounters on the way over there. So I was thinking maybe I can kind of solidify the team with those encounters. But I have to go do... I don't have to go do the whole Olivine Tower first, actually. I don't have to do it at all. I could just surf. Ooh, Cresselia. I could just surf over there. I think. And then go do the encounters. Battle the trainers along the way and stuff like that. And... Then I could fight Chuck's gym if need be. If I want to get fly to get back. That's really not that bad. I guess I could do that. I was thinking if I went to go to the Olivine Tower first, I have to like go and go talk to Jasmine and all that stuff so I can get the secret potion. But if I'm not gonna try beating Chuck's gym, his name's Chuck, I think it is. If I don't try beating his gym before coming back, then it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I could stop over there, get those encounters, and come back to this afterwards, and grind, go from there. And that's what we're gonna do. So uh, right after this battle's done, I'm gonna speed up Swamper, bruh. I need a grass type. I need a grass type. Yikes. Like, yeah, I need to I need to try switching my team up, man. This, these people got teams, man. Level 21 Swamper. For magnitude. Magnitude 8, that's pretty good. Big damage, big damage. Foresight, okay. Yeah, man, I could really use a grass type. Um, I think, I don't know exactly how many. It's like three encounters or so that I can get between the Olivine City and to the south. I think we're going to try doing that because, man, these battles are even going to be kind of tough without any grass coverage. Raikou. Bruh. Cresselia, Swampert, Raikou. I thought my team was good. Jeez, this is going to be a good experience then. I'm definitely going to do the encounters first because, uh, like I said, the two trainers I just fought, you'll fight them both times. One had Quagsire and... What was the other one? Quagsire. I forget what the first Pokemon was. Oh, uh, Beautifly. Beautifly Quagsire was the first one. And this one had Swampert, Cresselia, and freaking Raikou. What a, what a guy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to speed up and we will do those encounters before wrapping up this episode. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right. So we're here in Olivine City. I'm going to get my fishing encounter real quick uh, to get the... Olivine City encounter itself. You know me, Master Fisherman. You already know this is going to be a perfect grass type Pokemon. Give me your Bruce. Bruce or Roserade. Alright, literally the worst thing possible. Oh, Master Fisherman has not been has not been up to par this playthrough so far. I'll be on. I will be on. It's been kind of it's been shambles. Just pure shambles. I can't even deny it. Okay. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. And uh, let's go over to this route. Can we get over to this route? I think we can. Route 40. Wait. What am I doing? Let's surf. It'll be a higher level. So route 40 encounter. See what this is. Before we go too far into the water and start battling people. Another electric type. Hmm. Another electric type. Um, I could... I mean, I could catch this instead of Raichu. Because Raichu does not learn any electric type moves. It's going to be pretty much useless. Um, this could have a cool electric move set and then evolve into something. It's going to be a high level that it evolves at. But I don't have a lot of encounters right now. If I don't get anything great, this could just sit on the team and start leveling up and maybe become something kind of cool. So... I will catch this. I will replace Raichu with it. And at least maybe it could turn into something. Maybe it'll turn into something. Uh, what do we usually name a Flaffy? AKA Ampros. I don't know if I really have a name for this. I don't know if we really have a name for this. I'm gonna name it Floof. I kinda wanna name it something that kinda reminds me of the Pokemon that it's based off of because at least that way. Um you know, as it evolves, I might remember what it is. Um, I'll speed up till we get to the next route, though. 
I didn't realize we were going to be that quickly into a new route, but we're also Venusaurs and War Turtles in that water. That has got the Flaffy in, just a little FYI. Here is Route 41. I just stepped into it. Um, as soon as I started switch, I stopped, got ready to get an encounter. Let's see what we get. <sighs> Bibberal. Bibberal, Bibberal, Bibberal. I'm not replacing Weeper for this. No. Not happening. I'll see you at the next encounter. All right, so we're here at Cyanwood City. Um, I'm going to go right into this water right here. This should be safe. Spot to surf in without changing routes. Cyanwood City, Cyanwood. I don't want to go up there and see the Suicune. So I got to battle that guy, and that could be a sketchy battle. A bomb of snow. I'll take it. I am happy with that. I am happy with that. It's going to have hail. Mm, not happy with that. Hmm. That actually... That actually kind of... Hmm, I don't like weather. I don't like weather in this generation because it's permanent. And the chip damage on my own team is is problematic at times. But it's hard to deny the fact that it's a grass type. And I do need a grass type. I do need a grass type. But that means I'm going to be replacing... That'll mean we're replacing Flaffy, who I haven't even put on the team yet. For Nabama Snow. Which Flaffy we could keep on the back just to risk... Just to mess around and see if it ever evolves into something different. But I don't think it's really going to be worth it. I think Nabama Snow level 27 is going to be hard to deny that this is definitely the best thing I can add to the team right now. And you guys know what we're naming Nabama Snow. Y'all already know. Snover Lord. It's crazy how many names we have that'll like set up for people in the Discord. It's a good time. Alright, get me out of this water. Um ooh, I also get the shuckle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's check that real quick. Let's check that real quick. Let me heal up. Um, I'm gonna deposit the Raichu. And I'll go grab the Shuckle. And then... See what that is. See if it might join the team. Uh, I think it's a low level. I think it's level... Like, 15. When you get it. Alright, so... You are... Currently on the team. So I'll put you to the side. Raichu, you are off. Obama Snow is, is currently the member of the team, but I'm just going to grab this Pokemon. I need the slot open to grab it uh, to find out what it actually is. And I think is it this guy. You? Okay. Yeah, I'll take your Pokemon. I received a Pokemon. What should it? Ah, I don't get to name it. It's level 24. It's right on par. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is Typhlosion... Is Typhlosion being replaced? Is it being replaced? Minus speed plus defense? It's hard to deny... That it's a... Sh it's a Shucky. It's Shucky. Ooh, that could spice it up a bit. That could spice it up a bit. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think we do it. I think we replaced Typhlosion. So, Obama Snow, you are on the team. You are replacing... Is it going to be Typhlosion? I think it might be. Oh, man. All right, so let me think about the team before I make that decision. Before I replace the Typhlosion for the Charizard. This gives me another answer to ground types, which I am not weak to ground at all. Resist, neutral, but very defensive. Neutral, but very defensive. Re immune. I have one four times weakness. And then I have another immunity. Uh, I'm very weak to rock, but I could deal with rock types with this, this, and this. Water types. Oh, what was your ability? Damp. Ooh, does it stay damp when it evolves? I actually don't know. Regardless, that's actually kind of clutch. 
Um, ooh. It becomes an extra fighting resist, which I need. Because you're, you're a resist. You're weak, you're weak. Neutral, neutral. I could use a resist. Because my only fighting resist right now is coughing. And I can't really do damage to a fighting type with it. So... Charizard is replacing Typhlosion, and that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like for the Rickzard. Uh, it's a little bit of a long episode. But thank you guys for hanging out. And boy, let's freaking get it going. I'm so stupid. I'm thinking about Wooper this whole time. Like, yeah, it's going to evolve into a Quagsire. Oh, boy. Well, it's going to be interesting to find out what that is. That'll be the start of the next episode. So I will see you guys next time. Like I said, drop a like, all those good things, and see you next time.